Welcome back to my Commander series and today we are looking at Constance, one of the most important early game commanders. Let's have a look at her talents, pairings and how we can best use her. You obtain Constance through the expedition, so she's totally free by completing some of the early levels. You must then look to get as many heads as you can into her fourth skill. How do you do this? Well, the first thing you don't do is ever buy the heads. Never spend the 400 on a head of Constance. The way that it is best to get the heads for her is obviously during the early VIP stages, uh, as you're a jumper, etc., you will get some blue heads in the early VIP stages. There they are. You will, of course, also be able to then hopefully complete it using these events here which are the uh, country events where you get a wreath or whatever that country gives you can then go into the shop and for five you can get 50 heads every time this event is on plus what you get free from the expedition plus what you get free from your early vip boxes if you don't go through them too quick which like most free to play players won't you should be able to get her fourth skill full. Of course, though, you still need to keep the odds on your side. So never, ever spend a head on Constance until you've got all four skills open. If you're unlucky like me, or end up 5555, five, 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 because I continuously missed this most important skill. This extra 10% resources is like being offered a 10% pay rise at work for no extra work. Why wouldn't you take it? Or an extra 10% interest on your savings? It is an absolutely mammoth skill, which over time will pay huge, huge dividends. Let's just have a look at what it can do to the gem gathering. So if you gather... Um, 10 gems, it's an extra 1. If you gather 20 gems, it's an extra 3. Although Constance didn't do that, 20. Oh, there it is, an extra 3. And of course, for your overnight gathering, it's ginormous. So that's an extra 719,000 food by combining her fourth skill, the 10%, with her talents, which gives another... Uh, is it 6%? Another 6%. Absolutely huge. So, how can you tell if your alliance is pro? Simply go to your alliance woodlot or whatever re alliance resource. Because every single march in here should have her in. Especially if it's the alliance mother load. If everybody brings um, Constance then the Alliance gets an extra 10% out of the Alliance Resource Centre. So here I am, uh, going to be gathering 5 million resources using her. But if we have a look down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, not as many as I was expecting, 10, 11... Where are they all? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So only 17 out of 42 of my alliance are using her, which shows how many people don't realise her massive value. Obviously, they, those people might during the day be using her to gather gems because they prefer the extra few gems as opposed to the extra resources. Or perhaps they have such a large farm network, they don't need to mess around with her at all. But I think for somebody, even if you're a gem gatherer, she will eventually add up to a huge positive. Who do I team her up with? Or who do I pair her with for gathering? Uh, I, of course, do Sarka for that extra 10% uh, troop capacity, which, of course, and, of course, her, her extra 30% increase to load, which is how that you can get those really big overnight gatherings whilst you're asleep. And of course, this game punishes you for sleeping, and this is one of the ways you can fight back with pairing uh, Constance with Saka. Obviously, late game, not early game, to combine her with the Matilda of Flanders. 
uh, you could get another 10%, taking up to 26% extra from the gathering. Uh, I've only ever done this on a few accounts because I don't tend to play into late game. But to combine these two as a pairing is just mind-boggling how powerful that is. Especially once you start doing 30 gem nodes. Absolutely amazing to get 26% extra. Does she have any other functions though? Um, because I, because most people, because I tend to get her to a higher level, I've got her to level 46 because I want her march capacity to be large. If her march capacity is large, the 10% extra is even more. Um, so let's have a look at her talents. So I'm working my way up here to the extra 3%, but of course I've gone full gathering and never ever forget that extra 30% march speed because that's also a huge difference. To be honest, uh, an extra 50% gathering doesn't make that big a difference, but the extra 30% march speed to get to the gathering point makes a huge difference sometimes. Now, can she be used in sunset early game? Uh, actually, she's one of the biggest hitters out of the uh, blue commanders. That 150 plus an extra 3 seconds of 150 is a 600 hit, which isn't bad. Especially if you combine it into the talents with this skill here, Latent Power. Enhance additional skill damage by 2%, so those other 150s get an extra 6% each. Um, and then, But then, of course, if you are using her in Sunset, she would have to be in the back row. She's far too soft to go in the front row. Unless, of course, you're using her as a meat shield. But I would imagine early, early game, your peacekeepers should be fatter than Constance. Um, but, of course, to get her in the back row with a heavy skill hitter, like um, the Korean Archer or... Uh, uh, the, uh, the cavalry uh, AOE damager um, to have the extra 60 rage on skill use is ex of course an extra 120 which will bring skill hits forward uh, the 3% will bring her down from 11 seconds to 10 seconds and then the extra skill hits here so you could use her early sunset as a vehicle to carry another skill damage into battle. But really she would need to be back row. She's far too soft. If you're wondering if you could use her as a siege march, not really. She's only got defensive formation and fresh recruits. So I would definitely not use her as a siege march. She's at best uh, a meat shield or something to carry in one of the damaging, the AOE damaging commanders. I'm not very good at their names. What are they called? Konsunki? Nope, can't say it. Uh, but to carry him into combat at 5 1 1 1, or to carry Barbers 5 1 1 into combat could be significant in the early game. But really, it's just something you're filling a gap with until you've got a stronger march. But very, when the sunset very first starts, she is an option. Now, I know it's odd to have included this commander in my commander guide. But just looking in here, um, how many people don't use her to her fullest? She's an absolute powerhouse of gathering. Um, I say these overnight gatherings, let's have a look, where are they? Uh, so, I mean, 700k would take three or four hours, I would have thought, to gather. Have we got any other overnights? Let's have a look. There we are. That, that must have been her on that 945, but an extra 151k. I say, never, ever turn down free money. Uh, and in the same, never turn down free gems and free resources. Can we find another overnight? There we are, 4 million wood, extra 686,000, absolutely ginormous. Should be an absolute key part of your early game setup. Not fantastically useful in Sunset, but certainly could be in your back row and carry another skill damage march in. 
and you could still use her in your alliance woodlot but she would of course have to be the second march if you have invested into her rage skills uh, again for equipment uh, i even i always even just put the white stuff on her makes a difference because remember um a, a few percent extra um gathering doesn't really add up to a lot but overnight in a stone lot um it can turn you know 12 hours into 11 and a half hours is a huge amount more resources and so i've got the one percent there the one percent there the two percent there and i actually do have a blue item but only to progress the um the quest line um i have an item there which is of course another five percent gathering speed so i think worth dressing the person that goes into the alliance lot key for your overnight gathering some sunset use but only in the back row to carry another skill damage into combat i suppose she could be quite nice if you happen to have uh pegasus 5 one, 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 because of course uh, he gives the extra rage which will generate even more hits and they are both an additional damage dealer so the extra six percent talent will go between the two of them uh, which i think could be a stop gap certainly but i wouldn't spend epic heads on uh, pegasus myself so i hope this helps somebody and i will continue my commander uh series tomorrow with the next commander i uh, hope you're enjoying these and finding them useful or just learning something different about some of these early commanders which are so key to your team thanks for watching